today as I decrease, oh Holy Spirit increase in me, I tell you I feel him so strong, the presence of the Lord is here, he never ceases to come, I just worship and praise him and beckon him, I tell you I've been with him all the morning, I really had meant to be gone by now, we've got so much to do today. The Lord put a word strong in my spirit, a word of life, a word of refreshing, a word of newness of life that is coming upon the people of God, even myself, my husband, children, grandchildren, and this ministry, even the things that he has called us to do. You who are in ministry are hoping to be in ministry, in business, uh, entrepreneurship, the uh, entrepreneurship ability, if it's in your spirit. You who are looking for new jobs, employment, you who are getting up from the doldrums, even out of the pit like Joseph. God says, I am reinventing you. I am giving you the spirit to begin again and to start over again. Yes, it's in your heart, in your mind, a strengthening in your resolve that God will not leave me this way. No, this is not the story of my life. My life is even greater for the glory of God. I'm speaking to someone. I'm speaking to those of you who were at the top but got uh, that fell down and could not get up for a while because of the oppression, because of the opposition. And we all were going through a battle because that's what the season was. That wilderness, that high, that enemy that was trying to keep us down so that we could not fulfill destiny, could not fulfill the glory of God in our own lives. The Lord says, I'm I'm making you over. In Zephaniah chapter 3, verses 20, he says, at that time, I will bring you again, even in the time that I gather you, for I will make you a name and a praise among all the people of the earth. 
when I turn back your captivity before your eyes, saith the Lord. The Father says, I'm making you over. I'm reinventing you. I'm giving you a second wind with more of me and less of you. The ability to see the ability to see and to know me on a greater level, the ability to walk upright and be accountable. You are being changed from the old you and how the world perceived you into a fresh new image of Christ my son. For it is written that I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Because you have changed. Something in you is, is different now. It is deeper than before. The longing to know me is greater. It's because if I am lifting up my people, then I'm pulling you out of something and raising you up to higher heights and giving you a greater stage, you will see that I am, I am with you now. I am not forsaking you. And you will say it. God has not forsaken me. I am not downtrodden. But I am capable. I'm able. And I am empowered with his spirit. I tell you from on high, God says once you will say I was blinded by the enemy and those he used against me. But now I see that indeed I am loved of the Father. Jesus loves me and the Holy Spirit is with me. God cares deeply for me. So I have a goodly heritage. I am even this day becoming blooming and flourishing. For I will put forth one foot in front of the other. And I will move forward. I will move forward right now. No one can stop me. For the greater one lives inside me now. Yes, I am his redeemed. And the battle has already been won. My foes will be put to shame. As the Spirit of God breathes upon me to resurrect my way, my very life is opening. I am being transformed. Oh, into such something so great that I can't even comprehend that God would do something for me so great that he would use me. But the Father who created me is saying life, 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 life over me. Yes, the stage is set and I am stepping up into a larger platform, expansion and growth. I'm breaking out. For the Lord is saying, get up get up receive the breath of life the breathing that I am breathing over you the fresh wind of a new beginning I'm reinventing you some of you I will rename some of you will rename your ministries your businesses some of you will start over under this anointing new things do I declare say of the Lord the shift has already begun we are on the winning side people of God and all that is required is on the way the very help that can only come from the Lord is fast approaching don't be shy be bold in him not prideful but bold yet humble before your God because he says I'm making you better 
And as I wave new life and blessing over you now, get ready, for I am the Lord, your God. The Father says again in Zephaniah 3 and 20, at that time will I bring you again, even in the time that I gather you. For I will make you a name and a praise among all the people of the earth when I turn back your captivity before your eyes, saith the Lord. And I give you the glory, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Jesus. Praise your Holy Ghost. Something incredible is happening, people of God. As the old thing is fastly breaking off, dissolving, disintegrating, the foes will not be there. That thing that has a tormented, halabako shata, all that hard place and all that darkness, it's given away. This is what repentance and confession does, to come clean before the Lord so he has righteous indignation to turn things around upon the enemy, upon the foe, to bring you out of what you uh, have uh, have done or your, the, the, the things that were about your life because we did not land where we landed because it just happened. Things have repercussions and there's always a source. There's always a cause before there's an effect, somebody. Stay in the ways of righteousness for the Lord is pronouncing newness on this day. The Lord is pronouncing a way out and help that comes only from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. This is the time of reinvention, resetting, halabakoshe, a refreshing wind, the newness of life. The Lord himself is pronouncing life, life, life healing, restoration, and all the things of the living God. Get ready. This is Apostle Esther Joy, and I'm in love with him. I'm receiving this word and binding it into my circumstances, my life gates, my husband, our marriage. Kingdom Power Ministries, INTL dot churches, our businesses, things we're working on, our destiny, the children and grandchildren and their destinies, and all those who are with us. Hallelujah. Ah, and our faithful partners and donors and members and all those who contribute. Uh say patrons, hallelujah. Oh yes, our uh our team, our prayer warriors, hallelujah. I tell you, I'm excited about the businesses who we deal with the corporations and our banking institutions or uh, the uh, postal services and workers um, mailbox there all the things that uh, it takes to do what God has for us even Google and the YouTube creators who are just excellent uh, help we could not do all these things or learn the things we learn without some of the tutorials and going into the YouTube college and these different things I tell you get up and learn something new. Get up and do something new. Change your hair. Just uh, uh, just uh, uh, play around with inventing yourself. Look in new magazines. Go to the stores if you ain't got a dime yet because the money's on the way. God's going to find you in the wilderness, somebody. The angel knows where we are. We've been located. Those of you who this word is for, you know who you are. This is not a corporate word. This is for the people of God. Glory to God. He knows where we are. We've been located. Get ready. Get up and see. Get up and do. Get up and get you a notepad and write pad and write down your vision. Get up and get a job if you don't have one. If you don't have one, get you a job. Get, be active in the workplace, in the world. Let the kingdom of God come through you. Glory to God. I don't care. Walmart is hiring different companies, corporations. There's uh, uh, home-based businesses, online things to do. Start your own business. Go file 
for your, your DBA for 20 bucks out at the city clerk and start baking your cakes and selling them to the corporate affairs and the baby showers and the weddings. Do something. Go get your hair braiding business going. I tell you, there's a it's a can-do anointing. It's a life anointing. God says, I'm reinventing you. Renaming you. Glory to God. I tell you, help is on the way. He's here. He's with us. This is a new, uh, 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 a fresh anointing from the third heaven, straight out of the loins, the spirit of God. There's no more excuse not to make it. There's no more excuse not to be active and live a productive life in Jesus. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me who wishes above all things that I would prosper and be in health even as my soul prospers who have come to give me life and life more abundantly for certainly the greater has come and we are being changed resurrected God is with us I seal this word up in his truth and his fire and the raw blood of Jesus Christ on every side, even my voice, myself, my whole life, against any backlash, whiplash, anything that would try to come against it, ah, to hit the walls of God's fire, the powerful name and the blood of Jesus. Glory to God. Like and subscribe, somebody. You who peek it on in, come on in and subscribe and join in with us. This Holy Ghost move of God, the kingdom of the Most High. Will Kingdom Power Ministries, INTL, dot church, glory to God. Those of you who wish to partner in with us and come along with the, with the, the masses of us from here and all over the world, where we're together in this kingdom agenda, glory to God. Go to www.kingdompowerministriesintl.com and click become a partner and fill that contact form out and scroll down to uh, donations. Get your first seat into the ground. Glory to God. You hit submit after you fill out that contact information so it goes over and we get that email into the church's email. Glory to God. Also, those of you who would like to come along and so in to this hot, fertile soil of the Holy Ghost. Glory. You say, Pastor, you're speaking to me, and I want to bless this ministry of the Lord God. Go to www.kingdompowerministriesintl.com and click donations, and you will find several avenues to get your seeds into the ground of this fertile ministry. The, I'll tell you, a ministry with the under the hand of the Lord himself somebody I am amazed my own self at what God is doing with us glory to God and you those of you who want to write to us you can do so at kingdom power ministries intl dot church post office box 381034 Clinton Township Michigan 48038 you can write to us with your uh, seed and your prayer requests. Kingdom Power Ministries, I-N-T-L dot church, post office box 381034, Clinton Township, Michigan, 48038. He's here. He says, I am reinventing my people. I'm breathing in them life and help is on the way. Hallelujah. Can't wait to hear from you. Love you so much. Shalom.